when I was just 15 years old. So from a very young age, I was painfully exposed to the gap, the chasm between the haves and the have nots. The haves was everyone else in the community. The have nots was my family. And, you know, you hear motivational speakers or whatever, they'll get on stage and they'll say, well, you know, we were poor, but we were happy. We didn't know we were poor. Well, in my family, we freaking knew we were poor right. <laughs> because my yeah. mother, bless her heart, reminded us every day that we were poor and miserable. So no, it wasn't happy. It sucked. And yeah. so I hated being poor. I just, I hated that. Yeah. I hated that experience of poverty, lack, fear, not enoughness. That's what I grew up with because I saw that right down the street, there's great wealth and abundance. Uh -huh. So I said, from the time I was a little kid, how the heck do I get from here to there? Mm -hmm. You know, and of course there was like, you know, like you said, there's no one to help me. There's no internet back then. So I did the only thing I could think of, which I went to the library. I went to the public library and read mm -hmm. every book in the self-help section. I just immersed myself yes, yes. Mm -hmm. in that literature, read every book. And I really, really tried to make it work. But as hard as I tried, as hard as I worked, I, I just couldn't seem to get it to work. And so at the age of 25, I was so frustrated 